Even factor service, I'm sure that you are blessed and I'm sure that you are applying it correctly. Today, we just want to say remember. So today, tomorrow is remember. So today, Friday, and tomorrow, Saturday, 8th and 9th September. Now, we also want you to remember that what you say about this period is also important, no matter what is happening. So people, when they enter, they say, ba 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 month. There's nothing ba ba ba. It is what you call it that it comes to you. There is no difference between those periods. That there are people that is in the ba 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 that things better for them. There are people that see it as a June period. Do not say it is a June period. Let us pray. Father, never we thank you. Thank you for your love for us. Thank you for your interest in our well-being. And thank you for the love that we enjoy from you. Thank you for your provision. Thank you for this night month. Today, the eighth day of the night month will come into your hand. Our Lord, please let things work for us for good. And as we do this two-day series, we ask that you please help us and honor your word in our lives. In Jesus' name. So our test is Isaiah 59, 1 and 2. And the theme and this, this the topic is remember. So I want to read Isaiah 59, 1 and 2 to you from easy to read fashion. Look is asking for your attention. The Lord's power is enough to save you, to save you maritally, to save your career, to save your business, to save your finance, to save your health, to save your relationship. The Lord's power is enough. Don't forget that. Remember that at all times. He can hear you when you ask him for help. He can hear you. It is your sin that separates you from God. He turns away from you when he sees your sin. Remember that. So anytime you want to do a bad thing, remember that this is going to make God turn away from you. Anytime you want to offend God, remember it's going to make him turn from you. His power is sufficient to help you. It's enough to take care of you. It's enough to save you. It's enough to bless you. He can hear your prayer every time you pray. That's why I tell you, you go answer all prayers. But it depends on who is talking. Hallelujah, somebody. The scripture says in Malachi chapter 3, verse 6, say, I am the Lord, I change not. That is why you, the children of Israel, you, the children of God, are not consumed. Don't forget that it has not changed and it will not change. And he also said in Jeremiah 33, verse 3, Call upon me in your days of trouble and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things to bring you. To remember that. So the, 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 the error any man will enter after hearing this is going back to sin. So if you have not given your life to Jesus, remember this that God's power is enough to save you. But when He sees your sin, He turns from you. So I encourage you stop sinning. Like Jesus told that man in John chapter 5, verse 14, they stop sinning, otherwise, worse thing will come upon you. And He also said clearly, He said, Call upon me, I will answer. So, for you to call, you must belong to Him. Give your life to Jesus, and we will thank you when you see me. The Lord bless you.